Hey, what's going on guys? Rudelinol here, and today we're looking at even more Python code. Programming, writing software, whatever you want to call it, we are doing it. We are doing it all up in here today. <laughs> right now we're looking at nesting statements in Python. Uh, now you can nest statements... It doesn't have to be just an, an if statement. It could be any sort of loop, or it could be any other sort of test or code block. And it really, it's just you, you nest statements at sometimes when you are trying to make things a little bit more logical and you don't want to bother using other keywords or other symbols that might be able to make your life a little bit easier. It all depends on style, and it all depends on the way you want to display your logic. But in this case, if you're trying to examine some pieces of complex or like detailed data, you might need to nest statements. And... All that really does, it's like, it's like putting two or more logical tests and code blocks inside of each other so you can manipulate things more and be able to do more testing and determine new things and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try and build a, a really, really... I don't want to say primitive, yeah, I feel like primitive might be the best word for it, because it's not the greatest, but what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and create something that'll see if it'll find a valid email, and it, all it's going to do is it's going to look for the at symbol and a period in the email. It's not going to try and find any positions, though, but it's going to use that in opera that we that we learned about in a, a few tutorials back, because that's the membership op the membership operator. I'm sorry, I'm falling asleep here while I'm making a tutorial. <laughs> But yeah, all we're going to do is use that. We're going to test uh, for Boolean variables inside of a function. We're going to be using some input. We're going to be doing some output stuff. So it's, it's going to be pretty sick. And you can see it on the left-hand side there. But I'm going to walk you through it as always. And let's give it a go. Let's get Artle started up. And I'll create a new program. I'm going to get my shebang line going on. And here we go. First of all, I'll say hello to the world, because if I don't say hello to the world, sometimes it gets angry at me, and I don't I don't get anything nice. The world puts, like, coal in my stocking. But I'll save this as file.python, overwrite it as usual, and let's get started. So what we're going to be doing is creating an, uh, let's see, an email is valid function. And we're going to pass in an argument email. Email is going to be a string in our case, at least most likely. So let's do some testing. Let's test if we find an at symbol inside the email variable that we're getting that we've been passed. And if we don't see that though, we're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have to say, uh, print. I don't see that. I don't see the uh, the at symbol here. It doesn't look like your email address is valid. And what we're going to do is what we're going to return. And remember that return breaks out of a function no matter where it is. So it's going to return false. So we can do like an... If we're, if we're ever testing later on, we can do like if email is valid, and then we can pass in the email address, and we can get a yes or a no answer, just like the way Boolean should be used. So that's kind of nice. Now we can do up... In, well, we can go back up here into our initial if statement, uh, if the at symbol is in the email, and we can create a new one. We can nest another if statement in there. If we find a period inside the email, then we can continue to process. If we don't... Let's get back here to our correct indentation. We can do another similar thing. Let's go right up here and print that all out. I don't see the the period here. It doesn't look like that the program is 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 good. <laughs> it doesn't look like that the email is valid. Is, is what I'm saying. But if we do find those things, we can just say, yeah. I mean, I guess the email looks valid to me. And then we can return true because we did find what we wanted to. We found the at symbol and we found the period. But if we if we were doing this like real big and official, we might want to test for the position. We might want to test to make sure it's like a dot com or a dot net or a dot a dot org or whatever you whatever you might find. And we can test for other countries like dot uh, in case you had a different um you know end of the URL. <laughs> I can't think of the name right now. Forgive me, but that's all. So in our case, email can be raw input, so the user is going to be able to put in what they feel like is an appropriate email. Please enter an email. So we're going to be running this function, and then we can start up a new if statement, and we can use that Boolean sort of like 
style that we wanted to have, that we were aiming for. If the email is valid, if this returns true, which it's that's the condition that we're going to be looking for here, we can say success. If it's not, though, we have a little bit of a problem here. You can say uh, print failure. And there's our little program. All it does, it, it has our, it has this little function that it's going to test for some things inside of a string. If it finds them, it'll, it'll do what it needs to do. It'll say, okay, that's fine. If it doesn't find them, it's going to break out of that. And you have two different cases here. So let's let's give it a go. Let's try and run it. Hello world. Please enter an email. Okay. Um. Let's type in a uh, Billy Bob. And I don't see anything there. I don't see the at symbol, so it's just going to give up. Let's try it one more time. Let's type in a uh, Billy Bob at, let's say, uh, internet. Billy Bob at the internet. If I can type, I don't see the dot here. Okay, so we'll try it one more time. Billy Bob at the internet dot world. Which doesn't make any sense because it's not really a real place, but... Let's try it anyway. It finds exactly what we need to, so it looks valid. It seems valid, but we haven't tested this the way a real, like, a, a good programmer would. But I'm trying to use the in statement so you guys are using things that you know so far. Because I haven't told you about any other functions that might be able to help you determine where things are, whether it starts or whether it ends with a certain string, and that sort of thing. But yeah, this is the way that it should be. It's testing if, if else else it's nesting these ideas and these thoughts together and that's what's going to be able to allow us to manipulate this data and and look at it more in depth and that's exactly what we're trying to do here with these nesting conditional statements we've got our function that works fine we've got boolean variables so that looks good and it it's it's precise it knows okay it's looking for the the at symbol it's looking for the dot and that sort of thing and it's it's uh, it's versatile too. You could you can have the user type in whatever they think the email should be. So I think we've done a good job here. I think we've covered a lot of ground in some of our concepts and some of our ideas, and we still got the point across. Okay, that now we're going to try and nest some statements together. So I think that's all. <laughs> I hope you guys are able to understand this, though. It's just the idea that we're mixing two things together, two or more things together. You can do, you can nest as many things as you feel like you need to, and they don't even have to be if statements. But that is really all that I'm trying to get to cross to you guys in this video. So I think I'll sign off here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I hope it can help you out in your new uh, Python adventure. And uh, it'd be nice if you could give me a like, maybe a comment, maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's, uh, it's just an idea. You can take it or leave it. But I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.